Hi, Adam Allen Cockrell with ABC, hitting coordinator for the Arizona Diamondbacks. I'm going to run through your video today. We're going to take a look at a few things. Um, good setup position, good and balanced. Um, I, I watched the load. I see a little bit of sway in the load, meaning that that uh, when you when you start your load, I see uh, I see your your head and your body. Everything goes back uh, over your backside. Everything goes back here, and we get loaded up over this backside. And what I mean by that is, as you go back, this back knee gets on top of this back leg. It's it's tough. Um, to not want to just spin. Once all of our weight gets on, to on top of that leg, um, then we have a tendency to just want to spin and spin open. And, you know, it makes us very vulnerable vulnerable to fastballs away, outer half, outer third. Also change-ups and breaking balls. Uh, and that spin, it just takes us, it takes us in, in the zone and out of the zone very, very, very quickly. And, and we need to keep uh, as much length in the zone with our bat as we possibly can. Okay, so when we load, we want to try to get into that back leg and not on top of that back leg. Okay, so as when I talk about into the backside, we want to keep it in here, and we don't want this back knee to get over that back foot. Okay, run it forward, and once we set the the foot down, the stride foot down, uh, now we're in a position to where uh, all hitters are going to look alike from this point. Okay, uh, the biggest thing that I see in this position uh, with all hitters is there's equal bend in both knees. Okay, and we've got more bend in the back knee than we do the front knee. And, and um, again, mainly because we loaded, we got on top of that back leg. Okay, the other thing I look for with hitters is that the hips stay square. Um, your front hip is is starting to leak open just a little bit early. Okay, I like the I like the position of the the shoulders and the hands. Uh, they're nice and squared up. The hands are shoulder height. You got good separation with your hands over your back leg. Uh, this head now is sitting again. It's sitting on that back leg. And when this front foot lands, if we have equal bend in both knees and these knees are in our feet, then that head will be sitting up here more over the belt buckle. Okay, it'd be sitting right on top of the belt buckle, and we won't feel weight on the load on top of our leg. We'll feel on the inside. Okay, the biggest thing that I see right here, and this is the thing that 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 when we when we sway back on top of the backside, this creates the problem more than anything else. When we get uh, to the foot down position, we want to have this stride foot no more open than 45 degrees. As you can see here, your stride foot is at, is at 57 degrees, and that's what takes that hip and opens it up. Okay, and, and and the more open it is, again, very difficult to to stay on pitches out or third, and, and virtually impossible to keep the bat in the zone long enough um, to have a chance for changeups or off-speed pitches. So, uh, just more of an attacking position right here. This stride foot needs to be more in. In this area at 45 degrees, you know, we want the same amount of bend in both knees, and their knees need to be inside the feet. And, and then when the stride foot lands, this head sits out here on, on, on top of the belt buckle or over the belt buckle as opposed, as opposed to all the weight sitting on the backside, which, as I mentioned, will, is going to cause us to want to wanna spin around the ball just a little bit. Okay? We can see here this first move uh, with, your, with your backside. It starts to work out and around this front leg, and as it does, it causes the hands to cast out and away from our body. Okay, so as they start to come forward in the swing, we can see how quickly we're rolling over with this top hand, and and we're getting that barrel uh, to to the fish position uh, way too quickly. When we get to contact, uh, and in this and this lower half is in a good position, it's not it's not spinning around the front leg. These hands will stay in tight, so at this point we would have the hands, the elbow, and the back hip all lined up, and, and you could work inside the baseball and stay through the baseball, but this, uh, this the load on the backside, the early spin, just kind of makes us a one-dimensional hitter. It's a, it's a thigh-high fastball, inner third, okay? So um, just, again, better, better position is going to keep, uh, keep our bat path. Better position with our lower half. And, and, and the load 
and in the weight transfer is going to keep our bat in the zone much, much longer. Okay, So I'll go back and let this thing run through just a little bit. And you can see it, it's slow motion speed, but when you take your swing, you can see that you know, I think balance becomes an issue at the end of your swing because you know, we're back, we're on that back leg, and, and, we, and we have a tendency to spin back there, so everything is working around, uh, out and around the body, as opposed to everything working you know, inside, close to our body with good extension and a good full finish. All right? well, once we get to two contact, uh, we'll take a look now at a position that we want our ends to be in. Um, for me, the strongest position is palm up, palm down. Um, that allows to keep uh, that, that, the top hand in your instance, your left hand, the longer that hand stays in a palm up position, the longer that bat stays through the zone and stays in the zone. So when we start to go forward and we see uh, really at the very next click, the top hand is starting to roll, roll over, and that just pulls your bat around your body and, and into this position. So, um, Adam, the, the biggest thing that I think that you can do is, is just work off a tee. Get loaded, and once we get loaded up, Okay, we're going to set this tee on the outer third plate out here, okay, either even with or just inside of our stride foot. Okay, and when that stride foot lands, okay, we need to make sure when the stride foot lands that this knee is not, or this front hip is not leaking open, and we need to make sure that the stride foot is staying more at a 45 degree angle. Okay, um, the other thing is, is make sure the weight goes into that back leg rather than on top of that back leg and put that head right over the top of your belt buckle and, and that's going to allow you to get a better weight transition from in, inside the leg here <clears throat> and, and transfer that weight to the inside part of here and in, in the front in the in the stride leg in the front side and, and again that that allows for um, uh, more more barrel in the in the hitting zone longer and and just gives us a little bit of room to 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 not have perfect timing all the time we can't expect that out of ourselves so um, the, the longer we can keep that barrel traveling through the zone the better off we're going to be okay um, and again working the working the team middle away and I, I know a lot of really good hitters in this game that do all of their early work or cage work off of a tee because they can set up the location that they want. So when we set this thing out here, outer third for you, you know, what we're going to see is, is uh, if you can put yourself in the positions that we talked about, now you're, you're getting the barrel to the ball and being able to extend that barrel uh, through finish is we're going to be able to get to a finish that's going to allow us to, to contact this pitch and then extend and keep that barrel staying through the ball. Okay, right here, where we're in a position where we're going, we're going to the ball. Okay, but to extend and keep that barrel at this point, that barrel should be finishing at this uh, out here, and then the, the the long full finish of the barrel like this. And, and you can see here, you're you're pulling your barrel around your around the front side of your body already. So this is definitely going to be a drill that'll help you. Um, I really want to wish you all the luck in the world. Thanks for coming to our camp. And uh, just get on this drill and, and, and see if you can't put yourself in a better position. And, and you'll just get, you'll start to get more and more extension through, through the ball, especially these pitches that are, that are outer half, outer third. All right, bud, thanks for coming to our camp. We'll talk to you soon.